Hello and welcome to episode 8 of my tutorial series. Ah, uh, just kidding, mother. Get out, get out, motherfuckers. How are you? I hope this is a top size. Um, so this episode, um, it's just going to be a bit, a bit of house cleaning, a bit of showing you some stuff that will help you do your mods without, you know, um, well, it'll make the piss farting around a bit less, basically. So the first thing I want to show you is um, layers. Modding is like all good. It has layers. So you freaking, you go into your view, you bring up your layers. Bring up your layer window right here. And you go on new, new window. And um, I'm going to make a window for lights. And as you can see, it already exists. So I think they're um, like your layers in your level, they can't be named the same as layers in other levels. So I'll give it a, a name that I know. won't be in the game. Fucking lights. So there's fucking lights layer. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to add all my lights to the layer. So I'm just going to get over a light so I can select it nice and easy. There it is. I don't think I've, I haven't, I haven't, I'm going to rotate those, those um, roofs one day. Don't even worry about it. I'll get around to it. Um, and I'm going to, over in my cell view window, I'm going to select all my lights for my cell. This is just the you know the crappy crappy dungeon level that we were working on. That's all I'm I'm piss farting around with on this one. So I'll select all the lights over here. And as you can see, that one came up. So now I can go right click on this bad boy, go layers. Oh fuck, I didn't do a thing. Uh, I need to see this A here. That's the active layer A. So I'll click on fucking lights here. A fucking lights is now the active layer layer. And add selection to active layer. Boom. So you go 14, 14 lights right there. And now I'll show you a thing, like because we've got the lights in there. Doesn't even matter now because I don't even need it. But um, I'll press the A so you can see all the lights are there. And now I get, then I go over here and I fucking boom, no lights, boom lights, boom no lights, boom lights. So that's fucking pretty good, eh? You can you know you can use that for all sorts of shit. Um, you can have all your furniture on one layer. You can have so you can make it all fucking disappear, and you can just edit your level itself. And you can have your level itself as one layer, so you can freaking see through the furniture. Or you can have just the roofs as one layer, so you can don't, not accidentally click it on them by clicking on the fucking little white liney bits like that. Um, you know what I mean? Fucking layers. Layers are fantastic. It's a tool that you should use. Um, you know. Get into it, get stuck into it, and fucking set up your level as you're going along, and you, you're doing your big mod. Um, proper, proper like, all proper like. Um, now the next thing is um, grouping stuff. So I'll show you how to group stuff, and I've got this written down, so I'm just gonna have to. Uh, I'll, I'll select this stuff. So I want to make a group out of just fucking. Oh, what I'll make? A, I'll make a group out of the entryway actually. So I'll group the entryway right there. Um, now, to make a group, you go Control-J. Uh, yes. Group name. Uh, fucking door. So that's the fucking door group. So if I click on one, it fucking selects all of them. See, like that? And this, you know, if we can click over here, it fucking selects one here. But that's a group now. So control fucking G will group it up. If you want to ungroup it, you just go control U. Yes. And now they're all just fucking sing, uh, fucking single bits again. So it's a wonderful life, you know. If you want, you know, because you want to like, uh, you know, you set up a nice little bit of scenery, and then you, you know you don't want to friggin' fucking piss fight around moving every single little bit of fucking shit. So you just sit there going control all the shit. That you want to fucking move, uh, fucking, and freaking control. That's the wrong one. Control J. Yes. F fucking. And then I can fucking select one of one of these. Uh, fucking, and it's fucking selects those specific ones for the group. And control U. And yes, it's not in a fucking group anymore. So it's a wonderful life. That's another good tool, um, just to help you. You know, do your stuff good. Do you know get around a bit easier? Um, and another thing um, is the hide. So, like, say I just want to work, like, fucking, I'd say I've got a multi level and I just want to work, like, on this level here. But we'll say, 
in this instance because I don't have multi levels obviously I haven't been building a big level yet um, say I just wanted to piss fart around with the little freaking raider corner over here so that bit there um, what you do you select all the shit that you do want to piss fart around with and you go alt, alt shift 1 and now it fucking hides the rest of it it's fucking like it's not even there I don't think you can you can't even like freaking do things with it you know what I mean? So if you want to like lock off all the other bits that you're not working with, you just freaking do that. Control Alt Shift One, and then to get out of it, you just hit Alt One. I think. No, maybe if I select. Oh fuck! I selected it. Maybe Alt Alt One, and it freaking yeah. So that's like the hiding. So it hides bits basically. Is what it does for you. Um, so yeah, there's a few tools for you, you know, this, 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 this episode's just, you know, basic, um, um, housekeeping, housekeeping for some of the stuff that we've seen to make things a bit easier. Um, and I'll tell you another thing that we've seen, yeah, I'm not sure if you've seen all of my episodes of the tutorials, but, um, they were talking about splines and I was just fucking like, yeah, you freaking tell me all about those splines that I know nothing about. You know what I did? I went and found out about them. So, I'll show you splines. Um, and what they are. They're freaking cool. Splines are great. Don't even worry about it. Uh, so, we'll get rid of layers. Um, fuck it. I'll leave it. I won't even save this. Uh, maybe I will. But anyway. Um, yeah, I want to save the lights. Fuck it. I'll, I'll do proper layers one day. Um, so, what I want to do is I want to make a spline. And I'll show you exactly what a spline is when I make one. Um, but, so a spline basically, I'll tell you what a spline is. So a spline is like a wire or a rope um, joined to two points. So what you want is you want your spline end markers, spline end point marker, and you want two of these bad boys. So we'll grab one. We'll put it. I haven't got the lock on, have I? I'll put the lock on. Fucking. So we'll grab one and we'll put it over there. Uh, and then you grab another one. I don't know what um, spline markers about. I don't know what that's about. I don't even want to know. But, um, and we'll, we'll Z that up. Um, but yeah, so you get two of these, you select both of them, and I think it's P. Yeah, P, it's P, it's totally P. And I want a rope spine. I want a windy one, fuck it. And, and look at that, we've got a rope. We've got a, a fucking rope, mate. A freaking rope. I want to change that, actually. Um, can I, I can't, I don't know. I'll make another one. But anyway, um, a thing that you can do with the spline, I think it might be in here, is splines, thickness, and slack. So I'll give it a little bit of slack. Um, five. We'll say five. We'll see how yeah, slack that is. And it doesn't update like instantly, so there you go. And then it's got a bit of slack. The ropiness has got a little bit of slack to it, and it's just this, with the splininess. And there's the thickness one there as well, but... Um, the thing that came up that one time was um, thickness and tension. So if apparently if I hold S, look at that, I can adjust its thickness. Hold S, I can adjust that rope or wire's thickness. And if I um, hold Control Alt S, Alt S, I can adjust that bad boy's freaking tension. Look at that. Making fucking wires, making them all cool so it looks like your shit's all wired up and shit. Isn't it freaking tops as? Housekeeping is great. Um, so yeah, I totally, like, I don't like, you know, not understanding what they're talking about. So I went and freaking figured it out. And um, another thing that I will show you right now is, let me go back to me, I've got notes, don't even worry about it, I've got a fucking notepad right here. Um, how to learn things. How to teach yourself and the first place that I want you guys to start teaching yourselves is with this thing Render window hotkeys. So this is where I found splines. There's a filter here So you can just go spline P P you got your fucking two two bits like your two end markers and P Select both those bad boys P that makes a spline, but there is so oh, fucking bring it back up. Where'd it go? Hotkeys um, Fucking uh, give me all the hotkeys fucking uh, All the hotkeys all right, so there's so many freaking hotkeys and like just read through this list and you will learn shit. Toggle fog, um, control and five. I think my fog may have been actually on. So I'll go A, 
Control F5. Maybe it doesn't work. Uh, maybe it doesn't always work. But anyway, it should have worked. I swear the fucking fog's on. Actually, look at that. They're fog. Control 5. So we just learned another thing. I didn't completely know that, but um, there's so many here. You can't remember them all. I want to actually print this list out because there's fucking lots of good shit here. Look at them all. All the shortcuts in the world. All of them. Everything that you probably want to know. So, um, scarf. What? what? Freaking toggle grid. It's all there. It's all there. It's, so it's a fantastic. It's a wonderful life. Um, so that's how you do turn your fog on, apparently. Um, so yeah, that's that's um, your first, you know, learningness. Um, now your next learningness is just clicking on shit. I'll tell you right now, clicking on shit can be so educational. It's not even fucking funny. So we'll go to the Commonwealth, and I'll show you a freaking, you know, actually we'll go. Actually, actually, I'll tell you, it's good. No, yeah, you freaking, you wait for it to respond, all right? Fucking don't even worry about it. So we'll go to Sanctuary Hills. This is the, the pre-war one. Um, and the player house. So we'll bring up the player house from the pre-war Sanctuary Hills, uh, which is the Sally bit in the bits. Have I got any beer left? Did I drink all my beer? I drank all my beer. That's all right. There was a little bit left. Ah, oh, delicious beer. You go there. Go there, beer. Um, I've got a bourbon though. I've got a can of bourbon right here. Did it bring up? Did it, did it bring up? Where is it? Is it it's doing stuff. It's thinking. There we go. All right. So here. So this is the pre-war sanctuary. So somebody was asking me about like um, how to like make a new starting point for the game instead of starting here. I guess this is what he was after. That's what I, I gathered. What the fuck was that? Why is it all? Oh, there's there's water underneath the ground. That's all right. Um, I think that's what he was after anyway. Um, oh, you can't sleep. There's probably so many layers on here. But anyway, so what you what you'd probably want to do is go to the fucking where is it? Where is it? The freaking bathroom here. Now look at all the freaking bits in here. Good God! So that's your starting point. Um, you know hide some of this shit and then fucking hide some more of it and then fucking uh, hell delete it if you want to and to, but just don't save if you want to get to a certain bit in this room just delete it all shit all the fucking shit but just don't save and you know double click on shit what am i clicking on here light box and you know read the freaking read the scripts and all that sort of shit and that's you know another way you can teach yourself is just by clicking on all the shit look there's a little uh, fucking boy thing there I guess it's a floaty. I guess they're trying to catch a fish with this bad boy. There's a fish catcher. There's a, there's a boy. Um, look at all the bits. There's so many fucking bits. So that's a good way to learn bits. Um, the next one is, of course, and if you haven't gone there, if you haven't got a freaking login or signed up to fucking uh, Nexus, I highly recommend it. Just do it. Just do it because it's freaking awesome. Um, the Nexus forums, mate. You can get so many answers. You go in here, you log in, you search, and you everybody's talking about all the things that you want to know about. Trust me. Uh, the other one, of course, is but there's the net um, as well. There's some good forums there. Um, not quite as good, I don't reckon. I reckon all the modders hang out at the Nexus. Um, I reckon we need to start watching Bethesda because I reckon they're trying to turn, turn into Gaben and um, control this shit a bit too much. But uh, that's just my opinion. I'm a conspiracy theorist. That's the thing that happens. So, you know, teach yourself. Go in and have a search and see what people are talking to. Just have a read. You know, be a bit patient and have a read. Now, um, another bit, a bit more of housekeeping. Uh, this episode was a couple of problems that I was having. Uh, the first one was that Fallout was not saving my mods. Like, when I was trying to load in, I would have to constantly go in to the fucking mod list and say what order I wanted, to, wanted it to load in. And that's because I'm a dickhead. Um, and I didn't, I had my Fallout, Fallout 4 was read only. So, what you want to do is, um, you totally want to untick that shit so it can save it. So it can save the Fallout 4 any, um, and that'll be a lot better. So that's, that's that bit. Um, and the next bit was, um, the sprinting. The sprinting in the world spaces. It was a problem. I couldn't do it, um, because I, I went into, um, Fallout 4 prefs here. And I thought that's where I needed to put the line. But my old mate, my old mate who uh, commented here, who's his name? Death Leopard's here. He's, he's, he's the top bloke. He told me. Um, the thingy, 
the inflow in inflow the uh, is it, it's in the the full out custom in for any and um so you want to go into your custom mini you know just open it up as a text file there and um add it in add in this line here the f player disable sprinting loading cell distance equals zero um you want to add that in if, if it doesn't have a gameplay um with the with the brackets you do just add it in just add it in with the square brackets um just do it and that will allow you to sprint in your own world space i'm sorry i had, had a few bees um as i'll show you i'll show you right now because he, he showed me he told me where to do it instead of where i was thinking about doing it um and it totally works it just works like todd says it just fucking works mate so we'll go into the fallout fullness and i'll load in and watch this it won't even ask me it'll actually load the mods with me with testy testy mcgee here he is testy mcgee you see he's actually his name is actually testy mcgee um see testy mcgee that's his name because I made him. He's not even level two yet. He's only level one. I made him specifically for testing mods because I don't want to fuck up my good characters just in case. Because it'll it's a thing that I'll do. I'll fuck some shit up while I'm doing some stuff. But that's that's all right. It's all part of the game. Um, so yeah, I freaking load in here. Here's me. Uh, here's me little external external world. So I can sprint here. But as soon as I went through here, it was it was not working. It was not working a fucking bit. And it was shitting me. It really annoyed me. I want to be able to sprint in my own worlds. But now, if I go in, thanks to me old mate Death Leopards, sprint, sprint, fucking all, sprint to my heart's content. So I can sprint all the way up here and fucking wee into my fucking oasis. I totally need to change that water so I don't get raids. But yeah, that's this episode um, of the tutorialness. Um, so yeah, you know. Um, just a little bit of housekeeping. I haven't had much time. I'm sorry about that. Um, I've been, you know, I got I got lost in the trying to put skins onto um, power armor. I really got lost into it because I want it, want it to be able to work the way I want it to fucking work. I don't want to have to replace existing power. Even like, you know, I'm going to replace the pink one. That's what I'm going to do. Everybody's going to replace the pink one. But I want it to be able to freaking, I want to be able to put a list in the freaking power armor workbench. And be able to build my own paint on on it, but it's not a thing that can happen until the script editor or editor, I reckon. Um, so yeah, sprint, fuck yeah. Um, so yeah, that's um, you know, that's how I got lost. Plus, it was uh, it's Mother's Day tomorrow, but I'm working tomorrow, so I had to drive all the way to where my mum lives and say hi to her today because I'm working tomorrow and I can't go there so yeah been a bit distracted um but yeah this that's this episode that's this episode of the tutorialiness um I hope it uh, you know you learnt something new of the layeriness or the groupiness or the friggin' hidiness or you know how to sprint in fucking wild spaces now yeah fuck yeah um or you know also the load order thing fucking I hope you just you know if you were having that problem as well, it's just because I was stupid and I'm very sorry about that. Um, yeah. But yeah, all fixed. So, you know, we almost have no problems except for fucking getting power armor into the game now. Um, I don't know what I'm working on next. I really want to be able to fucking do quests, I guess. I really want to be able to do quests and stuff like that. Um, somebody asked me to do like the maps for these places that we're making and but I think I'm gonna put that on on the back burner until I figure out quests proper um, and we'll have a look at um, doing a more you know uh, a level you know making a first quest um, and that sort of stuff it should be good um, but I'll figure that out um, mate got a mate coming over tomorrow we're getting drunk so it's probably the next day after that so, so you know I've got a full-time job other than doing this um, you know if you if you subscribe and watch my videos though you never know well, maybe one day I can give that shit up um, yeah that's this episode I hope you enjoyed hope you learned hope you taught yourself I hope I was able to teach you how to learn yourself I hope you enjoyed I hope you got a laugh um, yeah stay chill motherfuckers See you next time.